Yo! Welcome back to the channel. We got some of my collection, aka patron rewards. Everything up in this video is up for grabs in the patron giveaway. If you want to know more about Patreon, just look at the link in the description of every single video. Alright, let's just go start flipping through it. Um, some cards, I don't, I mean, like, that's, what, 50 cents, maybe a buck. I mean, some cards I just threw in here for the heck of it. But the majority of this was acquired over the past six months. Six months to a year, I'd say. Uh, this is a foil crinkle mob boss. But a lot of you have been asking, Mr. Moss, won't you please make a video of your collection? We'd like to see it. So I thought I'd kill two birds in one stone. Because uh, I do have to make a video like this every single month for my patrons. Usually it's a private video. But this month I thought I'd free it up and loosen the chains. Oh, no, no, no pun intended, Mr. Goblin Chain Whirler. There's a foil one right here of him. He is fun. And I thought we'd just throw it all up into one video um, and share it with you guys as well. Uh, again, the patron live stream will be tonight. Uh, I should be uploading this video. I don't know. Probably right after filming it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? What an insane idea, Mr. Moss. I know, I know, I know. The camera's at a different angle, so if you're not hearing me as clear as you'd like to, hit the like button. And if you can hear me clearly, hit the like button. Uh, definitely got some Simeon Spirit Guides up in here. I like that foil. I do see the Falling Star pretty nice. Um, if I had to be asked what's my favorite card out of all these, if we get to it, I'll stop and I'll let you know. Uh, foil Lightning Bolt's pretty cool, though. Got some ball lightnings. Uh, here's a Legends chain lightning. I mean, everything you see in this video was pooled um, in part due to patron support, and that is amazing. So thank you to all my patrons for damn sure. Magus of the Wheel foil. That's pretty cool. Pretty legit card. It's a couple Blood Suns. I do expect these eventually to go up in value once uh, it finds a way. This fling is actually a misprinted fling. Um, I did enjoy pulling this Goblin Sleigh Ride, though. That was out of one of the last uh, repacks we opened. I, I might do a repack again, but man, really, it's just... You're losing money, you know, and that's it. And I guess the, I got the point across at repacks, not to buy them. But that was a, co a cool pull from a repack, I must say. Uh, gotten a braid foil down here, some gambles and whatnot. I thought I'd throw a Siege Gang Commander foil up there. And that galvanic blast up here, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice, sure. Zergle Bell Striker, Goblin Lackey, Goblin Lackey, man, that was my favorite card to stem in way back to Urza Saga when I, around the time I first started playing, I mean, I, I was already playing for a couple years when Goblin Lackey came out. I remember when, uh, what was it, Exodus came out, the first set, where the set symbols had the coloring on it, um, to identify using, um, just black, uh, silver or gold and I was like what is this because I mean it was like it's just a throw off yes yeah, I get sloppy sometimes I know it's, it's not in order you know it's gonna it's gonna happen I'm gonna thunder my milk you know get stuff I just like this fervor I like the foil on that fervor so I thought I'd put that in there uh, some newer stuff we just got the net gila but I remember when that set symbols uh, came out I was like what is it? I don't get it I don't like it like it looks tacky it looks kind of kiddish you know and it looks silly but that's because I was so used to it just being like this more darker you know uh, symbol you know like look at anything prior to Exodus and you'll uh, you'll get the gist rather quickly there that's a foil anointed procession I, th I don't think I'm doing a good job putting out all the foils in here uh, a couple uh, crested sun mirrors and some more anointed possessions. Tharuk champions. Uh, oh, I did pull two angel of inventions. It's fun for me to even go over this and just look at it and say, you know what? I can't. I, that's right. I did pull that. I did pull that. I remember pulling that Linvala. I thought that was really cool. She is gorgeous. Um, Lura Dawnbringer. Uh, promo. That was pretty nice. How many do I got? Four or five? I think I have five. There might be one hiding somewhere, or I forgot to include it. Gisela. G we'll call her Jizz. Uh, that's Jizzy, the Broken Blade. Um, she's all up in the piece. Mother of Runes. Archangel of Thune. Archangel of Thune is my favorite angel. Period. Uh, it just is. I, I love its ability. Uh, just able to splash the board with uh, plus one, plus one counters on all your creatures is amazing. Set of the Wreckage. Who's, who saw? Who, who, who foresaw this card just going up in value like crazy? 
Um, I did not. I, I will be honest with that. That's pretty nifty that it did. Alex Norton took a huge bite recently. Uh, not recently. I mean, when Iconic Masters was reprinted, it took a big bite. That card was going for like 30 bucks, and then it just went crash and burned. Um, and that's that. I like the backs of these. I don't know if you can see that. Sarah Ascendant got some of them. Consulent Crackdown Foil. I mean, some cards, again, I threw in here, they might not be over three bucks or four bucks, but mostly that's what you're looking at. Anything over three or four dollars I include in here. And then every month, of course, I'm giving away a lot of this. So there you have it. Angel's Grace, cool card. Didn't that get re... Yeah, no. I thought that got... No. Was it Sarah Ascendant that got reprinted? Yeah, Sarah Ascendant. It's right next to it, you stupid little bitch. Well, thanks, Bill. Thanks. Bill's always making fun of me, just so you know. John's always trying to throw me off. It's weird. Always watching. Yep, 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 sure is, sure is. You think there'd be some girls in the room. Like, I'd be like, hey, Sarah, shut the hell up, leave me alone, but it just doesn't happen. Uh, cast Out. Uh, foil is a pretty cool card as well. Uh, Day of Judgment, Foil. Worship, man. Glory in the highest. Something like that, sure, right? All right. Benelish Marshall got a few of them. Um, one is a promo. One's a normal foil, which I thought was pretty cool to pull that. Urza's Ruinous Blast, sweet artwork on that. Good old guy there, eh? Another Angel of Invention I just slipped in at the end here. A couple Armageddons. You got to dig the Armageddons. A Brightling. Um, you notice uh, what I've noticed about blue? Blue is blue is interesting. Blue the, When it comes to... Uh, being expensive, blue is rather expensive in the rarity slot, but I've noticed in col uh, in collecting over the past couple years here, or more so recently when I started paying attention to it, because I did slip away, as, as many of you know, um, I fell away from Magic the Gathering for a good oof, 12, 13 years I stepped out, um, you know, raising kids and all that good stuff. Uh, and taking care, holding it down for the lady, you know what I'm saying, out there, you know, she's so far and gone. Well, many of them are gone. Uh, and, yeah, I, I just completely fell away. But blue, I've noticed, there's not a whole lot of of expensive blue cards. Or they, they're just more, they're more difficult to get your hands on, I should say. Um, and, it, and it shows over the course of time, when I've opened all these boxes... Um, that's a foil, by the way. Uh, that's a foil up here, too. That, um, this is a really cheap page. I, that, there's just not many. Um, I think I may hit maybe have four pages here of blue, but then compared to, like, you know, my reds or greens, you know, just anything else, I mean, there's several pages of it. It's ridiculous. That's a foil mana drain in the middle. Uh, nothing really to talk about here on this page. What do we got? Champion of Wits. Uh, that's a foil promo up in the corner there. Torrential Gearhawk. Always a crowd favorite, I must say. Master of Waves foil down there and a part of the Water Vial foil. Foil Nimble. A lot of foils on this page, I must say. Pretty cool. Started Awake. Why is it? It's not a foil. That card has gone up in price, though. Pretty neat. Um, Dawson of Perfection. Some foils I just throw in here. I don't even know why. Brainstorm foil is pretty cool. That's worth throwing in there. Uh, Our Eternity. Eh. Mind Over Matter. That's neat. We pulled that from the one Exodus pack we opened. Speaking of Exodus, There She Blows. The first... Uh, series um or the first set that came out with rarity identification um when mythic wasn't even a thing so there's that um spell seeker i didn't realize that was a 60 dollars card until recently until right before i made this video pretty freaking cool i don't think anyone even pointed that out how much it was worth it's a it's a foil spell seeker and that sucker is worth a pretty little penny there Search for Ascanta, of course, we all know. Um, Naru, Master Wizard, is a foil. Commit in Memory, I just threw that in her last second. It's pretty cool as well, though. A um, little promo. Sadissi. Got a couple Sadissis, some Grave Crawlers, some Blood Gas. That's a foil Blood Gas over there. Not too shabby. Gotta love my uh, my zombies and vampires and all that good stuff, so I threw them together well, somewhat. There's not too much order, you'll see couple collective brutalities. I remember in my earlier videos, someone won a collective brutality foil from me. That was neat. I can't remember the name of the video or what it was. It was probably within the first hundred videos I made. And But that, that card at that time, I think maybe, maybe was like 10, 15 bucks. Um, I still don't feel bad giving it away. I, I, I feel great. I hope that guy still has it and didn't get rid of it or sell it or something. Um, Yahini, that's a foil over there. And same with the foil up here of the Obnix. For show, for show, baby. 
Phyrexian Scriptures, got some of that good action, two of those, some Chupacabras. There's a play set up here, I just bundled them all together, so if anyone wants that in the patrons, uh, if you end up winning tonight, let me know. Uh, I'll point out any play sets, you know, just whoosh, grab it all. Painful Quandry, some fatal, a fatal push, a damnation. Good stuff there. Dark Ritual Foil, of course. Dead Eye Tracker Foil, uh, promo, uh, the good old liquor, the old liquor of knights there, you dig. Uh, favorite black card, what's your guys' favorite black card? And what's your favorite promo? I don't think I've ever asked that. What's your guys' favorite promo? Overall, overall, what's your favorite promo card? Uh, Cemetery Reaper, Twilight Prophet. I know what mine is. Uh, someone can give it a guess. Uh, I have mentioned it before. Uh, Kazarov, Sanger, Pure Blood. Yogmas, Vile Offering. I somehow managed to pull two of those. Pretty nifty. Of course, I wish it was something a little different. Uh, Foil Chupacabra is always a pleasant, pleasant card. I do love my Torment of Hailfire. Uh, colitis. I've had colitis for a while. Actually, I had real colitis in real life. Yeah, it's not fun. Uh, that, that did happen. Yeah, I was in the hospital. Enough said about that. Uh, Kakushu, Kakushu, uh, Bloodgast, of course. Of course, Shield Red. Some Necropotence. I was a little upset they'd reprinted that, um, but what are you going to do? Just because that was one of the cards that came out way back in the day when I was playing, and then I saw it get reprinted, and I'm like, I really like Necropotence. Why did they have to reprint it? But at least they gave it the old, uh, the old Reach Around Mythic, so that's cool. Uh, Vampiric Tutor. I uh, got a couple of those puppies up on top here. And uh, that No Mercy we pulled recently was pretty freaking dope, I must say. Um, foil diagraph up in the corner there. On to Greeny. Uh, a few Predator oozes. I think that's four bucks or something. I can't remember. It might be four bucks. It might be two bucks. I don't even know the price of it. Something, though. Uh, don't ask why it's in here. It's just a foil and whatever. I, sometimes I throw some rare foils in here just for the hell of it. Green Sun Zenith, not too shabby. It's a foil as well. Is that a foil? No, you're seeing stuff, stupid. It's because it's next to the uh, the other one here. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, Gota, Primal Hunger. Gotta love a lot of Galata, baby. He's uh, he's really wreaking havoc. He's come up in price uh, as of late. Pretty neat. Uh, Poly Raptors, hand him up, baby, hand him up. Ripjaw Raptor, only got a few. That's a foil right there. That's a foil in the middle here. That's a foil Territorial Allosaurus. Um, world Spine Worm. That is one of my favorite foils, I must say. The World Spine Worm up there. Uh, Obstinate Ballast, cool card, cool card. Bristling Hydra, not too shabby. It's in foil as well. Uh, Courser of Crufix, got some of that. Ram It Up Excavator, that's a promo. Of course, Seeking, everyone likes that. Master of the Wild Hunt. I do like the artwork on that one. And the original uh, Visions Natural Order. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. I think that came from a repack also. Wall of Wood. Oh, yeah. Um, people who have won. Um, I'm doing all my shipping over the course of the next two, three days. So if you won something on this channel, it's not that I didn't ship it. Well, I didn't ship it. I'll put it that way. Um, it will be shipped. It will be shipped this week. I do all my shipping. I like to do it in one month. Uh, at the well, in the middle of the month when I do my Patreon rewards. So meow, yeah, meow. Uh, Wall of Wood. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Wall of Wood. Is that the one I gave away? I can't remember. Um, I think it might be, though. So that has to come out. You stupid little boy. No, it was something else. Never mind. It wasn't the Wall of Wood. Uh, it was the Beast, I believe. And that's to the side over there. I have that put away. Uh, here's a foil groundbreaker we got out of one of them repicks. Verdant Force foil. Not too shabby up there. Two Utopia Sprawls. Got a little lucky with that. That's kind of cool. Uh, Summoner's Pack Foil. Got lucky on that one as well. Channels. I don't know why these are in here. I just, I guess maybe to take up space? Sure. Jade Light. Uh, definitely seeing a lot of play. Growing Rights of Itlamok Foil. I had, you know what? I was wrong about this card. I thought it'd go up in price. It really has not. It stayed around like the five, six dollar range for a long time now, the, the non foil version. And uh, yeah, I guess you could say I was wrong. Awesome card, the redeemed. I hope that doesn't get reprinted anytime soon. I do like that. It's up there in price. Um, just because it was one of the cards where I made my first elf deck when I came back, I used uh, redeemed. I, I actually ran, I think, two or three of them in the deck. And uh, it was a whole lot of fun. Uh, Elvish Piper's got a bunch of them. Thrag Tusk, a good old staple there. Uh, Doubling Season, we pulled that recently. Pretty freaking cool. Seed, uh, the Seedborn Muse is not bad. This uh, page is pretty lit up and uh, foily. All these right here are foils. Uh, Rashmi, Land of the Dusk Rose, the old Vindicate there. 
Uh, no promos on this page, though. No promos, no promos. Azer the Lawbringer. Some more of that goodness, some goodness. Got two of those. Um, um is a word, um is a word. Uh, I pulled, I think, like seven or eight Night of the Reliquaries. A lot of patrons have gobbled them up over time. Muldratha times four. Uh, Dargaz, da yeah. Also, um, if you're watching this far in and you didn't realize, I do have another video that I uploaded uh, earlier today. You can check that out as well. Nothing too spectacular, I must say. Nothing too spectacular. Honestly, you probably don't want to check. I wouldn't check it out. Don't, don't waste your time. All right. Uh, Halar. That's a promo. A promo over here of Rada. Another Alenda. You think I'd put them together. Um, that's a foil glimpse in the bottom there. We got a... Uh, I thought it was a foil. Yeah, that's a foil up here. Good old Captain Foil up on the top. Pulled quite a few of her. Really did. Um, I must say, you're looking at it right now. I tried to organize as best I could. Just so you know, that's a foil down here as well. Um, but I, I, I'm one man. Okay, okay. Kumena definitely took a price plunge. We'll see ya. That does happen, I suppose. Spell Squeller. Uh, spell Squeller. Are you a Spell Squeller? Spell Queller is not too shabby. Um, like this probably shouldn't be in here, but it is. Why the hell not? It's a newer card. Did I throw it in there? It's only like two bucks, maybe. Omnith Locus of Rage. Can't go wrong with that sucker. Gilded Lotus Foil. Beautiful. Um, and compliments of the other Gilded Lotus there. Uh, Mirage Mirror Foil. Nice, baby. So gorgeous. That's a promo. So gorgeous. Battle, uh, Effigy. When did I, I think I pulled that recent. Yeah. Did I? No. I don't know. What, what is that? Brittle Effigy. Maybe that was a repack as well. These repacks, uh, some of the repacks I've opened, I kind of got a little excited for because you pull some weird, wacky stuff at, at times, you know. Uh, a couple of worm uh, coil engines. This is a foil aether vial in the middle there. Uh, nothing else really too spectacular on that page. Spell Sky's cool. One of my favorite artifact creatures. Now you know. Uh, Thron Dynamo. Got a few of them. Chalice of the Void. That was a freaking sweet hit. All these are sleeved, by the way. Every single card in here is sleeved yet again, so... Now you know a little bill. Now you know. Bada bing. Jet Medallion. Um, Traxos. Nobody cares, but it's the promo of it. And then we got the Weatherlight, which I was really excited about that, but man, they should have made this card better. They didn't do Weatherlight justice. I'm, I'm a little upset about that. I really freaking am. Ballista, of course, is sweet. Foil, uh, Sundering Titan there. I, I was upset about that. They didn't do the Weatherlight justice. And uh, I, I have tears. God Pharaoh's Gift. Tears for years. Uh, tears for years, yeah. Paradox Engine's a pretty cool card. Um, that's banned in a couple formats, isn't it? What are the ones that's banned in? Someone have remind me. And Snarring Bridge, pretty freaking dope. Uh, the Panharmonican. Uh, Azur's Gateway. I bought a play set of these, hoping it would increase in price. Can't remember what I paid for it, but I think it stayed almost the same. So there's that. What are you going to do? Can't, can't hit home run every time you have to bat. Hmm? There's four of these Thrawn Temporal Gateways here for anyone that was curious. Uh, foil Mishra's Self and a Cloud Key Foil. Mishra's Bobble. Man, I've given away so many Mishra's Bobble already. Uh, metallic Mimic. Damping Sphere. Uh, another Damp... Mm, uh, uh, ugh, I was wrong about the old Damping Sphere. I know. Metallic Mimic is a great card, though. Damping Sphere. It is a great card. Um, there's a foil version of it we pulled on the channel. Pretty nice. But it just... Uh, it wasn't the rarity value I thought it would have. I thought it'd be like some secret rarity, but it just wasn't. I was really hoping for it. I, I made a lot of hype about it. But I mean, I was almost certain. I mean, that's a crazy gamble and a guess. Anyone's. Uh, these are foils, by the way. Um, uh, the really rare foil ones that um, you can only get in whatever the hell it's called. But yeah, there they are. Pretty nasty. Uh, got the Mox Amber. I recommend if anyone wants to make an investment in something, uh, Mox Amber's the way to go. Uh, I'd say if 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 it I don't I, I don't know it keeps dropping. Um, if you buy them, if, if it hits eight bucks, I would say stock the hell up on them. I mean, I was saying buy them at fifteen already. I mean, I, I bought a couple more for fifteen, uh, and it's already down to about ten eleven dollars now. Um, they're gonna they're gonna find their way into something. It's a mox. It, it it happens. Every mox is pretty good. I mean, name a bad mox. Is there a bad mox? I'd like to know about it. Aether Sphere Foil, there you go. Um, this is all the Eldrazi stuff. Got some fun little pools here. 
Recently pulled that guy, and I got pretty excited about that, as you know. Kozilek, foil and bringer down here. Reality Smasher is a cool card. World Breaker, of course, and your Kozilek. Get that betrays. Uh, nothing really too impressive. Uh, all is dust, forgot about that. Nothing really too impressive on this page. Um, just a couple Tefuris. Um, just six, you know, there might be another one hiding somewhere. Uh, some Sahil Rays, gorgeous lady you. Vesner, the soldier. A little bit of them. Foil Soren over here. That thing just, that probably shines. We, yeah, I don't even need to announce that it's a foil. This one's a foil too down here, this Hulate. Holtai. Holtai? Oh, is this a foil? Well, these next, yeah, these are both foils. That's right, we pulled two foils of that. Forget about it. Forget about it, Joey Moss. Uh, foil Agrath up there, Angrath, not too bad. Uh, Liliana Last Hope pulled that not too long ago. That was exciting as well. Samut Testicles, he's pretty dope. Um, I do like that, or she, yeah, whatever. Uh, that's a foil over here, Nissa. Um, but it's from that one uh, Planes, uh, Planewalker pack or that, or the duel, whatever crap. Uh, Garuk, Garuk, Garuk is on fire. Um, we got a foil Gideon over here up in the piece. Did I go over that page too fast? Well, there's really nothing too crazy impressive there. Um, there's uh, the Rowan Kenrith and Will Kenrith, uh, Ken and Barbie. Pretty freaking cool. <laughs> and we got a Jason Genius Mind Mage. He's a foilage. That's cool. I mean, it's tough. Gideon over here, Ali Zendikar, Johnny, some more good stuff. I mean, you guys can get, you guys can see, right? Karn, who saw that, man? Uh, whoo, boy. I had my foil Karn. I sold it at 125 bucks, and I'm glad I did. I saw it was really peaked out. I'm like, I'm not hanging out with this car. I'm just going to sell it. Um, I pulled it off camera, and uh, it, it came out of one of those Planeswalker, uh, not a Planeswalker, one of the dual decks that came out recently. Um, for Dominaria, and bada bang, man, there it is. Uh, well, that's not it, but I pulled the foil of it and offed it for 125. Go figure, off camera, and it happens. You know, I was teaching someone how to play the game. Ridiculous. That's a promo over here, by the way, of that Kithian. Um, let's get into some lands. What kind of lands we got, Mr. Moss? Well, we got a little variety here, you know, a little variety pack, you know, got a, got a lot of stuff. Got some stuff here. Uh, Horizon Canopy is always awesome. I'm missing a Horizon Canopy. Don't know what the hell I do with it. Um, Oh, I know I gave one away last month, though, to one of my patrons. Uh, River of Tears, foil, not too bad. Botanical Sanctum, foil. That River of Tears is not really worth anything. Inspiring Vantage, foil, pretty cool. Rootbound Crag, of course, of course. Fetid Heath. Nice to see some Fetid Heaths up in that piece. Drowned Catacomb, um, that's the foil over there. Dragon Skull, Simit. Not bad, not bad. Got a foil, irrigated farmland. Any more foils on this page? The Scattered Groves is a foil. There it is. There it is. Um, tons of Drowned Catacombs. Well, I had tons of Drowned Catacombs. I don't think I included them all in here, though. Polluted Delta. Noise. Bloodstained Mirror. Noise. Some good stuff down there. Uh, Godless Shrine. Uh, we do have a box of Gatecrash we're going to be opening here. Hopefully we pull some of that stuff out of it. Temple of Epiphany is always legit. Sea of Clouds. Flooded Strand. Thicket. All up in it. Oh, uh, Missy Rainforest, no one cares. Uh, here's some Dominaria lands. Uh, Hinterland Harbor. Look at that, I pulled six of them, pretty nuts. I think there was seven, really. I'm not sure what the other one happened to the other one. Four Woodland Cemeteries, uh, four Clifftop Retreats, one Sulphur Falls, foil, that was cool. Cabal Stronghold, I have more of these, I don't know where they're all at. Um, and one Isolated Chapel. Go figure, my dude, go figure. Hmm? Uh, Rishtan Port, got one of those. Scavenger Grounds are cool. The Nexus, uh, Nexus is always sweet. We got some growing rights, some more of that. Don't ask why they're in two different areas. It just is what it is. Eldrazi Temple times Deuce Karakis, baby. I was so excited when I pulled that. I think that came in one of the first boxes I ever opened. I think it was the first Magic Gathering opening on this channel. If you watch that video, good for you. <laughs> Not many people did. It's terrible. It's it's funny to see though. Uh, Inventor's Fair, Scavenger Grounds, uh, Foil, Battlefield Forge, cool. Um, these are from Battle Bond. We've got three of them. Not bad. And I got some other lands back here. Some Field of Ruins, your Ghost Quarters. Another one of these Center of the Seas, of course, baby. That's a Foil Center of the Sea in the middle. And a Spire of Industry Foil. Maze of If. Got the Foil up in that piece. And uh, yeah, I think we're almost done here. Some Reliquary Towers. 
Uh, these are all full art foils, except for this guy. It's uh, just from back in the day, one of the unsets. These are all full art foils. And then this is some random stuff I threw back here. This is the misprint um, combined. Where is the other one? Son of a bitch. I forgot to put the new one we got in here. Uh, it almost looks identical. I put them next to each other. Where did I put it? All right, I'm not going to kill too much time looking for it, but I will have a video where I include both of them at once. Where the hell did I put that shit? Hey, what is this doing over here? Oh, my God, did I forget to include all these cards? Ah, I did. I forgot to include all these damn cards. Shit. Well, this will be for another video, I suppose. <laughs> um, I forgot to include some cards. There's some more isolated chapels. I was wondering what happened to all the isolated chapels. Helm of the Host and Demon Lord Bells and Luck. I just came across that right now. Only here on Bad Boy Gaming. All right, guys. Um, I do appreciate you tuning in. I got some more work to do before the patron live stream, which is going to be on Twitch. Bad Boy MTG. It's all one word on Twitch. And you can find the, in the description of every video information uh, and links for everything that goes on, including my Instagram and blah, 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 blah. All right. Hope to see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this. And as always, PLA.